Welcome to Visual Basic for Beginner series. This is the first tutorial in this series. In this tutorial, I will explain what is Visual Basic and uh, what is .NET. Before you learn about Visual Basic, you need to know what is .NET. The .NET, a Microsoft product, is a software platform. The .NET platform is language neutral, meaning it can support a variety of languages. In other words, it is not a language by itself, but a runtime and a library for writing and executing programs written in any compliant language. The .NET framework exposes numerous classes to the developer. These classes allow the development of rich client applications and web-based applications alike. In this slide, these classes have been divided into four areas. ASP.NET provides the core web infrastructure such as web forms for user interface based development and web services for programmatic interface development. User interface development on the Windows platform can be done using the Windows forms. ADO.NET and XML provide the functionality for data access. Finally, the core base classes provide infrastructure services such as security, transactions management, etc. All this is integrated into Visual Studio.NET. Visual Basic is one among the many programming languages that are supported in Visual Studio.NET or by .NET. So here is Visual Basic, there is also Visual C++, C Sharp, etc. So what is Visual Basic .NET or simply Visual Basic? Visual Basic is a simple, modern, object-oriented language and a rapid application development tool which is implemented on the Microsoft.NET framework. It is part of Microsoft Visual Studio.NET. The .NET includes common execution engine and rich class library. Microsoft's, this is Microsoft's equivalent of JVM, which is called CLR. CLR accommodates multiple languages. So if you take the source code written in any one of these languages, it is compiled to something called an intermediate language code, which is then compiled to the native code at runtime using the just-in-time compiler. The classes and the data types are common to all the .NET languages. What can you do with Visual Basic .NET? You can build Windows applications, you can build console applications, you can build web applications, applications that can access databases, you can create Windows services that run in the background, or XML web services that run over the web. You can create your own Windows controls or web controls. You can even program for the mobile devices. This is how the compilation in .NET works. Pick any language that you like, C Sharp, Visual Basic, uh, so when you write the code, it gets compiled to the intermediate code using the appropriate compiler. And when you run the program, when you run that IL code, it is run with the CLR using the just-in-time execution. You don't really need to uh, worry about many of these details uh, to get started with one of these languages like Visual Basic. The intermediate language. The .NET languages are not compiled to machine code. They are compiled to an intermediate language or IL. CLR or the common language runtime accepts this IL code and recompiles it to the machine code. The recompilation is just in time or JIT or JIT meaning it is done as soon as a function or a subroutine is called. The JIT code stays in memory for subsequent calls. In cases where 
there is not enough memory it is discarded thus making JIT process interpretive. The languages that are provided by Microsoft that run with .NET are Visual Basic, C++, C Sharp, J Sharp, J Script, etc. There are many third party languages also available that run within uh, then that run and use .NET. Uh, for example, there is APL, a version of COBOL or a version of Fortran and many others that are shown on this list here. Visual Studio .NET is a development tool that contains a rich set of productivity and debugging features such that you can write, compile, test, debug and create an executable file all within the same environment. So summarizing, the .NET framework dramatically simplifies development and deployment, provides robust and secure execution environment, supports multiple programming languages. This is the hardware and the software that you would need. You would need a Windows operating system XP or later. You can get a version of Visual Basic for free uh, from the link that is shown here and uh, I will be covering many of the details in some of the later tutorials. Please uh, visit my website. It contains tutorials on Visual Basic, C Sharp, PHP and many topics. Thank you.